Today I'm going to be going over my plans for a new intake system for my E39 54. So I've been doing a lot of cooling mods lately and for pretty much everything you want to do with a coolant system you have to take the air intake out. It's really quite simple, you know, one bolt and two clamps, six clips, everything's out of the way. It's, it's probably one of the easiest things on this car. But the more I look at it, the more I see room for improvement. The air box is great. I'm going to go over that in a little bit. There's really not a whole lot of improvement you can do to the air box itself. MAF housing, not going to mess with that. There's nothing wrong with the MAF housing. These are made out of plastic. It's going to be really heat resistant. It's going to keep all of this hot engine bay heat out. It's got a fresh, clean air source down here coming into the air box. So there's really no reason to touch this. But this tube is atrocious. It's so bad. I'm going to go over it a little bit more detail with it off the car, but just looking at it, you can see it's coming straight here, and this makes this awful 90 degree turn into the intake, which is just horrible for airflow. Same with these little ribs here, causing a lot of turbulence. So my plan is I'm going to use some of the leftover carbon fiber and resin from when I did my 350Z intake and replace this tube with a carbon fiber tube. If you look at some of the intakes for similar cars like a Camaro with an LS1 in it or an LS3 or the 5.0 Mustangs that have this same setup with a throttle body right up here in the front, airbox to one side, and they're bringing in a single tube. You got to give it more airflow than this just sharp 90 degree bend. So let's get this intake off and I'm going to go over in a little bit more details how I'm going to improve this intake. If you look here at the lower air box, you have two different tubes bringing cold air directly into the air box. So none of it's coming from the engine bay. It's all coming into the air box from a colder source. You have a nice seal all the way around this box for a flat air filter. Looking here at the top half of the factory air box, we can see we have this nice velocity stack here leading out of the air box. So as all that air comes through our air filter, it's going to get fed into this velocity stack. And it has a nice smooth pathway to connect to the MAF housing. So I don't want to get rid of the air box. The air box is a good design, really not much improvement that can be had there. The problem comes from the intake hose. So there's a couple problems with it. First, this flex joint here, these ridges on the inside are really going to cause a lot of turbulence, which is bad. Turbulence is not good for flow. Then we have this little resonance chamber down here, which is A, going to take away some intake noise, which this is an M Sport 540. Why would you want to take away intake noise? Then you have the fact that it's kind of heavy. The car weighs like 3,800 pounds, so weight isn't a huge deal here, but still it's unnecessarily heavy. It takes up a lot of room and makes it a little bit more difficult to get to things in the engine bay. And then you have this really abrupt, just 90 degrees. What I want to do is replace this part and follow the design that I believe it's Air Raid uses for 5.0 Mustang intakes. It kind of balloons out here a little bit, giving a radius here, giving a little bit easier path for the airflow. So instead of just this hard 90 right at the end, it kind of has a gentle outward flow so that more air gets fed into the throttle body without such a, just an awful 90 degree turn. Really the only difficulty is going to be these two barbs here. This one, quite simple, I just need to find a really small barb. This one seems to be almost a specialty fitting, so we'll see what I can do with that. It's not coming out super well on camera, but that inner almost blue circle there, that is the diameter of the intake tube going into the throttle body versus that much larger diameter of the coupling around it. That inner smaller circle is about 77 millimeters while the throttle body is 82 millimeters in diameter. So you're giving up five millimeters, which doesn't sound like much, but when it's on the outside of the area of a circle, it adds up pretty quick. So the goal is keep the air box and just make one single tube here. It's not going to be very long. It's not going to be very complicated. Just these two barbs have some small little face here so that I can do a very small coupler to the throttle body and then a coupler back here to the air box and just give a bit more room for airflow and while it's not going to make a huge difference it's going to be a lot cheaper than any other aftermarket intake for these cars. It's going to be lighter 
it's gonna be more heat resistant, it's gonna have better flow, and I already have all the materials for the intake I made for my 350Z, which I'll link up here somewhere, but if I don't use that stuff, it's gonna go bad, so I might as well use it for this. Cardboard from Serial Boxes is a great way to make templates, designs, and a little rough sketches like this. Just turn a cereal box into our rough design here, let's go see how it fits on the car. So after taking a few quick measurements on the engine, this is kind of the rough outline I came up with. So you can see here what I'm talking about with giving this bulge out here at the back. I'll obviously round this, but this is just a, a rough draft out of cardboard. But if we sit it on here, you can see the difference from where it comes here and really sweeps out and gives a nice gradual turn. I'll probably add some more material over here to kind of tuck it in. A little bit of overrun here and tuck in and a gradual here. But you can see how much more gradual this is going to be compared to the stock tube. So just a rough draft, but that's a general idea. So that's the plan. I'm going to come in, leave the airbox alone, leave the map alone, just do a tube. Silicone coupler here, silicone coupler here. Make the diameter just a little bit bigger so I don't lose any volume going into the throttle body. Just do a nice gentle bend, give it a little bit more volume out here, coming all the way around to get some better flow. So if this is something you think you might be interested in and you want to keep track of it, you got to hit that subscribe button down below. You can also check out some of my other carbon fiber and intake content of how I made a similar intake for my 350Z. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next week.